Well, a new season of Top Chef is about to start, and this time it's in Houston. Last season, Seattle chef Shota Nakajima did an awesome job representing us, landing in the top three. Well, this year, another Seattle chef, Luke Culpin, is in the running, and I got a chance to cook. Well, Luke, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your expertise. What are we cooking today? Um, so today, uh, what we're going to be making is uh, butternut squash. Uh, it's going to be roasted, glazed uh, with maple syrup, miso, and brown butter, and then covered with uh, seeds and uh, nuts. Okay, yum, I'm here for it. I love butternut squash. So how do we get started? Uh, so first, um, I mean, depending on how many people you're serving, of course, grab the butternut squash that fits accordingly. Um, a good medium uniform size one, so it cooks evenly once you cut it in half and roast it. Uh, okay. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut it in half. And the inside, we're just gonna take the, the seeds out. Just use a spoon and kind of scrape the inside out. Um, once we have it like this, um, we're just going to season it with a little bit of oil, just to kind of Coat the outside, kind of rub that around. And then a little bit of salt as well. You can also, you, know, you can be generous with the salt. Salt makes everything better. Absolutely. And then what we're going to do is we're just gonna roast it in a pan or on a, on a sheet tray lined with foil. Okay. Um, I'm gonna roast it at 400 for roughly about 30 minutes. First, I'll show you the mix of nuts that I have, um, which I have here is, uh, Walnuts, pine nuts, sunflower seeds, pumpkin, uh, pecans, almonds, sesame seeds as well. You could add puffed rice. You could basically add any sort of uh, combination of you know nuts and seeds that you like. Uh, if you only want to use one, go for it. It's really kind of up to you. Um, and while the pumpkin is in the oven roasting, I'm going to make the sauce for that, which is also a. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, it's three ingredients, nothing more than that. Um, brown butter, uh, which I've made just from one stick. Um, I have four tablespoons of brown butter here uh, that I'm gonna mix with one tablespoon of uh, maple syrup and uh, one and a half tablespoons of miso. You can add a little bit less miso, you can add a little bit more miso, kind of all really depends on you. Okay. Um, I'm going to add uh, the brown butter first and just slightly warm it. You don't wanna add it uh, too hot. You know, you're gonna kind of split all your sauce. You just kind of warm it up and you're gonna slowly add in your uh, maple syrup and then kind of your miso and whisk it together till it looks like a nice kind of thick glaze. I love it. I love the creative mix of flavors and that creativity, no doubt, is what got you cast on Top Chef Houston. What was that like? Uh, that was uh, a lot of fun. Definitely something that I uh, never thought that I would do. Uh, <laughs> so it was a surreal experience, uh, you know, uh, joining the team, joining the cast and uh, being a part of it. I love it. So once everything is melting and getting it together, what is next? So now we have this melting in. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna slowly whisk in my, uh, my miso. And then once you kind of have all that, you can turn it onto a very low, uh, low, uh, low heat. Once this all kind of mixes together, the miso is kind of, smoothed out, incorporated into the sauce and the brown butter. We're gonna go ahead and take a brush and we're gonna brush it over the top of the finished uh, butternut. So through the magic of TV, you have a butternut squash already nicely Hopefully. roasted. No, that's, how, that's how that works, right? <laughs> right. Uh, and now once everything's together, you literally just brush it on the top? That's it. So I'm just gonna grab a brush. You can uh, pour your ingredients on the top, brush it. Um, it's just kind of important to get all that, you know, basically all that flavor all over everything. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to look pretty because we are at this point, we are going to cover it with our kind of our seed and nut mix. Mm -hmm. So it's just about getting a generous coating of your miso, brown butter, and the maple syrup all over the top of your pumpkin. This looks like so much delicious flavor in one little thing. Is this a good side dish or a full dish? I mean, what would you pair this with? Um, so this is perfect if you want to serve it as a whole dish by itself. It is perfect for that. But you can also, uh, you know, cut it up and serve it as a side dish. Uh, it would go goes great with just about everything. That's amazing. So savory and delicious. Oh, yeah, I am here for it. I haven't tried it yet, but I will soon. And just a reminder, you can catch Luke on the debut of Top Chef Houston tomorrow night on Bravo. Good luck, Luke.